Side by side, please, in the center. And you may be seated. Over here this evening, in the sight of all these witnesses, in the sight of God, to join the two of you, Walter and Lynn, in holy matrimony. Walter and Lynn, I'm sure you plan to make your relationship very, very successful for the rest of your lives. And that's the idea. <laughs> so the good thing is, it was also God's idea. And so he gave us an instruction manual to go along because he built males and females differently, not only on the outside, but especially up here. <laughs> and that translates into built-in basic needs that are different. But they have to be filled. Can't fill those of ourselves. Somebody has to do it for us, right? So we end up getting married. Yeah. Your wife, she expects you to fill her needs for the rest of her life, young man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your husband, he expects the same from you. So very important what those needs are. This way we keep each other happy. It's because when those needs are not filled one by the other, that uh, trouble starts <laughs> to grow along. See, that's how that works. God does not want us miserable, and so in the Bible, he gave us insights into all of them. He built us, he knows how we function. One of the most important needs that your wife has, Walter, that you are to fill throughout her whole life consistently, if not even her greatest need, is for her to always stay completely safe and secure in and of your love. Must never, never give her an opportunity to doubt it. You know. Many reasons throughout life, but also your wife. She blooms the best when she's loved the most, see? Yeah. <laughs> so she needs an overdose of love, huh, comparatively. Yeah. So, and because love can't be seen at all unless it is demonstrated and expressed, the easiest way to do that is to tell your wife every day how much you love her, how much she means to you. And during the year, of course, you buy her some little gifts here and there, and flowers, <laughs> and jewelry, and no, perfumes, and things. Oh, yeah. Even if it's not a girl's day, huh? Yeah. Especially when it's not a girl's day, big points for that. You know, so. <laughs> Lots of very important principles to follow for marriages to succeed. So I encourage both of you to pray together and pray for each other and study your instruction manual for yourselves and huh? the Bible. You'll never be sorry for that. Everything we need for life is in there, in all of its facets. This one and the next. And too much religion out there, not enough for God. Elvis, do you want to do the song for these love words? You should do, huh? Go ahead. towards each other, please. And sir, please, the ring upon your fiancé's finger. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Len, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a pledge of my love and commitment. As a pledge of my love and commitment. And I take you to be my wife. And I take you to be my wife. I promise to be your faithful husband. I promise to be your faithful husband. I will love you and cherish you. I will love you and cherish you. Respect you and honor you respect you and honor you provide for you and protect you provide for you and 
protect you. Protect you. <laughs> All the days of my life. All the days of my life. All right. And <laughs> if you're Lenny, if you repeat after me, please, Walter, I take you to be my husband. Walter, I take you to be my husband. And I promise to be your faithful wife. And I promise to be your faithful wife. I will love you and cherish you. I will love you and cherish you. Respect you and honor you. Respect you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Now these flames have been burning here for a little while and they symbolize the lives you've led up until now, separate from one another before all these witnesses and before God. After your vows, becoming one as a husband and a wife to symbolize your marriage, each of you please take a candle, light the one in the center together, and when you're through, blow your flames out. Careful not to blow the one in the middle. And just as these two flames no longer burn separately, but have become one, so are your lives in the sight of God and man. And after hearing the vows you've exchanged with each other by the authority given to me as a minister of the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the resurrected Son of the living God, laws of the state of Nevada, I do pronounce that which you already are, husband and wife. You may kiss your bride, sir. A big round of applause. <laughs> Oh.